ended up knocking me down, and uh, it was a battle there for a while, so I was screaming as loud as I could scream. Now at 11, a manhunt for a potential rapist on the loose right here in South Florida. We begin with a CBS 4 safety alert and take a good look at the suspect sketch over my shoulder. He is responsible for at least one attack on an elderly woman and police believe there may be more victims out there. CBS 4's Tiani Jones spoke with the latest victim. She joins us from Southwest Miami Dade. Tiani. Well, walking door to door, showing neighbors this picture. Police are doing everything they can to put this man behind bars who they say attacked a woman. We not only talked to that woman, but we talked to a neighbor who says that same attacker was at her house this morning. He snatched the door from me and then he proceeded to push his way into my home. But the day began peaceful. I was reading my Bible and Someone knocked on my door. This 74 year old woman who we will not identify meditates every morning by studying her Bible. I wasn't thinking about evilness or hurtfulness or anything. So when she got a knock on her door, the normally cautious senior opened it without thinking. That's when she says a man pushed his way inside. He ended up knocking me down and uh, it was a battle there for a while. My door was wide open, so I was screaming as loud as I could scream. She fought hard and believes she surprised her attacker with her strength. I don't think he anticipated me being as strong as I am because I'm an older woman. Police tell her they think the man might live in the neighborhood. In fact, they believe he may have struck again Friday morning. Next thing I know, there's a knock at my door. A neighbor who asked us not to show her face says the man outside her door at 6 a.m. looked a little shady. She knew of last week's attack and had seen this sketch. And I began to scream, I'm calling the police, I'm calling the police. He rides up and down the street quite a bit. Just ride by soon. Some neighbors believe they've seen the man before, and police are hoping someone can lead them to him. As for the women who came in close contact with him, they want him in jail, but trust their faith to protect them. And I believe God will keep me, and I don't walk in fear. I walk in full faith and trust in God who will watch over me. Now, this is one of those neighborhoods where everyone seems to know each other, and they're hopeful that this man will be caught soon. If you recognize that sketch, call police immediately. Reporting live in Richmond Heights, Tiani Jones, CBS News Tonight.